Morgan. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're with Matthias, he's the general manager of the new division. Still new, can we say? Still new? Yeah. A year and a half? Yeah, that's right. Uh, Mercedes-Benz bands here in the United States. Although Mercedes-Benz has a long history of commercial vehicles around, in, around the world, right? Yeah, that's right. We, we've been in this business for quite a while and it, 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 it took a while until we started in the US and then finally in 2001 we launched the first Sprinter as a um, first van product of, of our company here in the US. Yeah, here in the US Mercedes-Benz had had the, the big commercial vehicle, the trucks, as a Freightliner, right? Mm -hmm. Right. But like the, to see the Mercedes-Benz logo on a emblem, on a Sprinter, on a van, it's kind of still a little bit maybe shocking for some people because like the Mercedes-Benz name like transmits some luxury and some other qualities but this is I mean it's a quality of the Mercedes-Benz vehicle but it's different the, the, that's right I mean the, the overall commercial segment of Mercedes-Benz has a very long tradition in Europe already so this is why you see lots of stars with commercial vehicles <laughs> commercial yeah. vehicles with, with stars in, in Europe it's a bit different here in the US you're, you're totally right um, but it's a very important segment for us because um, you know a lot of very successful business owners own a Mercedes-Benz passenger car yeah. and um, in, in Europe most of them also decide to run their own their, their commercial business on Mercedes-Benz commercial vans so in, in Europe it, it's already pretty pretty normal, pretty normal but you're yeah. right um, it's, it's it's all about perception right? right I mean like that's what people think about things but I mean things are changing because now we see the sprinters the Mercedes-Benz sprinters all over the place with FedEx with uh, another with like a lot of cable companies a lot of commercial uh, uses of, of that vehicle like around your neighborhood like stores and everything uh, that's right we, we uh, have a lot of um, very large fleet customers and um, that's that's good to see that that they like like our product because for us it's very important not only to offer a van in the US rather like we do it with the passenger cars to offer the, the best van we can, we can offer and the most innovative van and like with the Sprinter this is why we, we have a lot of uh, large fleets as well and um, we, we're very good when it comes to total cost of ownership we have very fuel efficient engines in, in the vehicles we have a very good service interval etc so uh, the whole package um, on the one hand the technologies we can take over from the passenger car side yeah. like innovations like blind spot assist etc and on the other hand also the, the um, highly fuel efficient engines we have a very nice package which our customers really like so let's talk uh, about the Sprinter 2001 the first time it came to the US uh, with Freightliner first and right. then uh, Christ uh, Mercedes-Benz was with Daimler was with Chrysler right. so you sold them under the Dutch name for a while right and then 2001 finally like as a Mercedes-Benz yeah 2010 right we, we oh, 10 I'm sorry yeah 2010 we launched it then as a Mercedes-Benz which is basically uh, what we do worldwide so worldwide yeah. the Sprinter is only available as a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter um, but uh, here in the US it, you're totally right it was a bit different in 2001 we decided to launch it we did it with Freightliner we we did it with with, with an um, diesel engine which was pretty unique in, in these days it was a Euro style the van was kind of strange for the US market anyways and yeah. then we launched it with a diesel engine um, but then it took a while until we launched, finally launched it as a Mercedes-Benz um, Sprinter and uh, yeah, since 2010 it's available in the US as a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter and still as a Freightliner Sprinter. So the Sprinter, the current Sprinter uh, that you sell in the US has a kind of a very particular uh, story behind where it comes from and how how it comes to the US and how what you have to do to it to sell it. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a very <laughs> interesting story, right? <laughs> it, it has a bit to do with taxation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's definitely right. Um, th there's a so-called chicken tax in, in the US, um, so we cannot bring the the cargo sprinters here to the US um, as completely built-up vehicles. Uh, I mean, we could, but then we we had to face uh, a taxation of 25%. Wow. So uh, what we really have to do is we assemble them in Germany in, in Düsseldorf, um, the cargos. We disassemble them. We put the different parts on different ships. We ship it to the US, uh, bring them to our factory in Letzen, which is in, in close to Charleston, South Carolina. Reassemble them, do complete quality testing, etc., and then uh, launch them here in, in this market. And that 
yeah, that's that's not the, that's not the typical German efficiency <laughs> process, right? <laughs> yeah, we would like to do it to handle it differently, but unfortunately, the taxation issue is uh, <laughs> something which, which is affecting that. But uh, as we have just recently announced, um, in 2016, we will. Um, we really uh, will build our own factory here in the US for bands, so that will then uh, in the long term no longer be, be necessary to handle the process like I just described, but we'll have a real factory here in the US in South Carolina That's and uh, we will um, assemble this. Then you can do the German way now. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. So currently what, what do you, what are the models offer, or what power trains and Sprinter in the US? Sprinter we, um, we stay with our um, all diesel strategy. Um, when we, we launched it. We did, did it with a six-cylinder diesel engine, and um, just two years ago, with the phase of model year 14, we decided to add our um, four-cylinder diesel engine as a standard standard engine. So the Sprinter you get with the four-cylinder diesel engine, with a six-cylinder diesel engine, and brand new from this year onwards. And you also get it with a four x four powertrain. And this is pretty unique um, to have a four x four powertrain, and it's worldwide the only. Um, the only van in this segment you can get X Factory with a with a four x four. So you, with the diesel engine, the four cylinder especially, uh, you get like very good mileage for the for commercial use. I mean, like that's a, a plus that, that's, for, for the users, right? That, that's right. It's a highly fuel efficient engine, and the, the good thing about uh, the close cooperation between the Mercedes-Benz passenger car the development and the here. and the Mercedes-Benz. Um, van development, they, they work together pretty closely, so um, for example the, the engines we have in the Sprinter um, are engines we, we also have in our passenger, in our passenger car. So in, in Europe the, the engine, the four cylinder diesel engine you find uh, in the Sprinter, in the past it, it was even available in, in the S-Class in, in Europe, so um, this is a good kind of sharing concept. So now we're driving the new model for the Vans division. The right. Metris. Uh, so this is a pre-production vehicle. It won't come till October to the U.S. Right for that, sale. That's right. But we can yeah. talk about it. What? What? Sure. I mean, like, I, I like it. I mean, before you tell me more about it, I really like it. You're driving it like it's a car. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really feels like it's like a mid-size SUV. But then in this particular case, we have the cargo van. You can see out there. There's like a huge space for cargo and stuff. But also have the cargo and the passenger version. That's right. right. So we will. Yeah, that's the, the big launch this year and we are really excited about it. Um, the mattress is, is brand new. Um, we sell it or we've been selling it in, in the um, in the other markets in Europe as the so-called Vito, so we call it mattress here in, in the US. Um, we launch it here in two versions, as you said, the passenger version and the cargo version. And um, yeah, what's so special about the, the mattress, um, we think it definitely has the right size. Uh, we thought a lot about launching a small van um, because we also have a small van available in, in Europe. Um, but we think that the mid-size van makes more sense for the US market and for the requirements of this market. So we decided to, to go for, for this um, van. And it's, it's pretty nice size-wise because it has a rather small footprint but yeah. it's completely garageable so you can fit it in a, a car size garage is, which is pretty helpful especially for people running their business out of their own homes they want to they yeah. um, park their van in, in, in their garage and um, this is um, the, the US version you can currently drive it is um, based on, on a, a highly fuel efficient fossil in a petrol engine that's important it's a petrol engine yeah um, and um, yeah, you're the first one to, to drive it basically, it's a pre-production yeah, vehicle. So when you fit it with the, uh, the passenger version, how many seats you can, you, can you put back there? In the passenger version you can fit in total 8 seats of so the driver plus 7. Okay. Um, and um, the, the version we, we have as well is with 7 seats, but um, maximum is 8 seats on the passenger car side. And uh, so these, um, you're gonna focus this because it's the commercial division of Mercedes Benz mm -hmm. to like Businesses, but I do you expect like some private owners because I think when they see it and when they, they drive it and they, when they see the capacity for people and like cargo and the utility of it, I think even a lot of people, families are gonna love it. Yeah, <laughs> I will not keep anyone from buying it, <laughs> so, uh, but uh, the focus is clearly commercial um, and we expect, 
especially for, for the passenger van, we expect a lot of shuttle services, limousine okay. services, etc. Et to go for it. But of course, there, there will also be private customers being interested in it, and um, we will sell it throughout our passenger car network. So you will find it in, in a normal Mercedes Benz dealership. Um, so I also expect um, private customers being interested in it, but we are clearly focusing the commercial customers with this with this vehicle. So finally, Matthias, uh, what's uh, what are the price we're talking about this car for both uh, cargo and uh, passenger? Yeah, the, the cargo starts at twenty eight nine fifty, uh, and the passenger van starts at thirty two five hundred. Well, thank you very much for your time and all the information. Uh, we're driving here in Colorado, near Durango, Colorado. Beautiful scenery around here. So we're going driving back to the airport now to take the flight back to Miami. So we're gonna keep enjoying this this car. We don't have any cargo. But if we see anything on the road, we can probably <laughs> yeah, we can take it there. <laughs> thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank Bye. You.